out with Donnell and Albert today. And I, I know they're both going to be gunning for me, and uh, they want me gone. You know, he's done a couple things um, that I cannot agree with. Anything that I can use as, a, um, as evidence to put someone up for elimination, I'm going to use it. You know, if someone actually nominates me, I won't really be surprised, because uh, I would get rid of me if I was in that position. Next, a secret is revealed. Donnell, this is your tape recorder. Would you like to tell the guys what you've been using it for? And later, the game gets personal. The bell has rung, the gloves are off. When He's a Lady continues. He's a lady. Um, the anxiety's different tonight, but uh, tonight I'm actually feeling good about it. it it's going to be really interesting and to um, see if anybody holds back or if, if anybody just, you know, lays, you know, lays all the cards out. I gave it my best shot, and it's, it's really out of my hands. So we'll see what happens. Someone's going to hang up their wig tonight, and uh, I just hope it's not me. Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Very glam. I love all the leopards. I know. <laughs> Raven. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Very slinky. Really sexy. <laughs> you look gorgeous. And I love the eyeshadow matches your robe. With those yeah. hairy feet. <laughs> exactly. Did they forget to wax your toes? <laughs> Alberta. Oh my God. Oh, Alberta. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> oh, he's got the turn down. Let's get started. Donnell, this is your tape recorder. Would you like to tell the guys what you've been using it for, or should we let the guys find out for themselves? Shall we? Albert is very Albert-centric, narcissistic, uh, basically vanity smurf and a real person. Donnell, you know, I like Donnell, but I think... Now, usually before the elimination ceremony, you vote on who you think should leave the dollhouse. But tonight, because only three of you are eligible for elimination, we won't be tallying up any votes. Instead, each of you will have an opportunity to say in front of the judges and each other who you think should be sent home. The judges will then take that into consideration and then make their ultimate decision. Why, Nona? You won the pie baking challenge. You're safe from elimination. But right now, tell us who you think should be sent home, and why. Before I came down here today, I had already decided who I was going to vote for. Um, but in light of this development, I will be voting for Raven Nightshade to leave the house. Alberta, who should leave the house, and why? I'm uh, voting for Cree just because I feel that his, his pie had uh, the most room for improvement. <laughs> Raven, you're up. Who should leave the house and why? I have uh, voted to eliminate Cree. Uh, the day we went to help Cecilia, a beautiful young lady, with her wedding, um, Cree had some things to say. And I thought they were a bit out of place. I didn't ask about you. Listen, well, they're saying that. Why is it about you? Um, kind of offended me. I thought he offended the game and the house. Um, and I thought he offended Cecilia. And I thought it was kind of hypocritical. You think all of this head turning is starting to go to your head, maybe a little? I wouldn't say that it's going to my head at all. Um, it's, this was about us trying to get in, into this, you know, alter ego. And, uh, and that's what I'm trying to do, really. And um, I, I'm trying to get, I'm somewhat of a perfectionist, so I try to get everything down pat, and, uh, and I'm here to compete. 
I'll take that. So, Carmen, honey, you called out all the other guys, but I want to talk about you. So what qualities do you have that you think would make you the all-American man? Morgan, it's, it's, it's really caring about the other guy before you and knowing and, and keeping a sense of humor about the whole thing, but just really being there for everybody. And I think I've displayed that. Uh, brother from another mother, uh, <laughs> who went after you and why'd you do it? Hmm? Um, I think Cree targeted me a little bit and I just had to make sure where I stood. Um, we're very civil to each other in the house, which I like, personally. We don't run around yelling and screaming, so... Did this help you in the game? Um, I believe it helped me as far as strategy, so yes. Judges, based on what you've just heard... Carmen, I'm gonna have to ask you to remove your wig and say your goodbyes. Tonight, when I first heard about what Raven had done, I was really ready to vote him off. I was going to vote him off until Carmen pulled off his wig and started this long diatribe. I don't think any of us saw that coming. I mean, he literally flipped his wig. It was unanimous. I was going to make him go if the other two ladies said no. I was tired of hearing the long, long, long speeches. I mean, I'm kind of blown away. I really, really, really am. I, I put my best foot forward. Uh, maybe, maybe it's because I took my wig off. I'm real. This is reality, and this is the way I felt. This is what I wanted to do. That's all I have to say. Alberta, Raven, Winona, congratulations. You are the final three. Yes. Nicely done. And in just a week, one of you is going to go home with a quarter of a million dollars. We're, we're at a point now where we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I know that it's up to me to win or lose, basically. Hopefully everything turns out all right. Uh, we'll 